the 1930s, there was a small hotel named Hotel Apache. The place was primarily known for having one of the first elevators in all of Las Vegas. And it came with a little casino on the first floor named the Apache Casino. The casino had some more names over the years, including the Western Casino in 1941, the SS Rex in 1945, and finally, the El Dorado Club in 1946. In 1951, a dude by the name of Benny Binion bought both the Apache and El Dorado Club and turned the entire place into his own casino called the Horseshoe, which was later stylized to Binion's Horseshoe. One special thing to know about Binion's Horseshoe was that inside the casino, there was a giant horseshoe shaped case filled with a total of one million dollars in dollar bills. However, not even a few years into the Horseshoe's life, Benny Binion loses his license and a guy named Joe W. Brown buys the casino. The 1960s happens, and this is where that cool facade we all know and love takes shape. The ownership later goes back into Benny Binion's family, and the property goes into a pretty neat golden age. In 1970, they become home of the world's first World Series of Poker, and in 1988, they expand hardcore by buying the entirety of the Mint property next door and become one big hotel and casino. Then, in 1998, Becky Binion begins owning the property and the whole place just goes really downhill. This is to also note that the popular $1 million case was donated to a private collector just a year later after ownership of her begins. After that, the MTR Group and Harris Entertainment, which is now known as Caesars Entertainment, both went up to her and was like, hey, we don't like what you're doing, give us the place right now. So, in 2004, they bought Binion's Horseshoe, spruced the place up, and dropped the horseshoe name, naming it to Binion's Gambling Hall and Hotel. They even managed to return the $1 million case, which was now in the shape of a pyramid. It can still be seen to this day. Ownership of the property was then given to TLC Casino Enterprises in 2008. Things were kinda good, but then the recession happened and they had to close all the hotel rooms down, including laying off a bunch of people until 2019 when they finally reopened the original hotel rooms that were once part of Hotel Apache. Today, Binion's is a very fine example on how to keep a Fremont Street casino looking quite vintage while keeping with today's trends in Las Vegas. And with its recent openings and features of its Whiskey Liquor Up expansion, it's no wonder why this place is considered a favorite to locals in the area. When the horseshoe dishes up, the horseshoe prime rib and the T-bone steak special, it's a great deal. The horseshoe, where the world comes to gamble.